published over 300 books, and he did his own illustrations and wrote many of his own books, but he also had several of his written by Catherine Jackson and his wife, uh, Patricia Scary. He sold over 3 million copies. He, I think I just read he was born in Boston, Massachusetts, and he died in uh, Gestad, Switzerland, by a heart attack. Um, whenever he graduated... Whenever he was growing up, he had to go through the Great Depression, and whenever he lived in Boston, his family had their own shop, and they didn't really have many struggles growing, going through the Great Depression. And after he graduated high school, he ended up going to a business college, but he didn't necessarily like it, so he ended up dropping out after his third year, and he ended up getting drafted for World War II, and he was their art director, education, information, and he was in North Africa and Italy. After serving his time, he ended up going back to his illustration and writing in 1950 for Little Golden Books series. Many of his books were influenced by love, care, and respect because he grew up in an atmosphere with a family that loved him, and many of his characters in his books show this. His first book was Two Little Miners, and it was in 1949, but he didn't really have his breakthrough until 1963, which was the best world book, the best world book ever, and it sold over 7 million copies. Busy Town went until later into his career, and he ended up having several different stories within that. He tried to avoid anything that had racism, gender roles or anything that came to sexism, and if anyone ever accused any of his stories, he would gladly recite them and change his illustrations so that people wouldn't be mad at him. Many of his books he created, he didn't want them to be read just one time. He wanted many of his books to be read more than once to where people were reading them over and over and they were held together by scotch tape. I'm going to read to you a white elephant. The Polite Elephant by Richard Scary. Everyone likes the polite elephant. He knows the right things to say and do. tips his hat and says, hello, when he sees his friends. When the polite elephant waits for the bus, he takes his place in line. He never pushes or shoves. Sometimes the bus is crowded. The polite elephant always offers a seat to a lady. Sometimes the polite elephant goes visiting. When someone comes to the door, he tips his hat and says, hello, Mrs. Smith. How are you? The polite elephant is a good guest. He knows that some rooms are for sitting and others are for playing. When it is time for the polite elephant to go home, he remembers to thank his friends. 
Thank you, he said. I had a nice time. The polite elephant is polite at home, too. He always washes his hands and face before sitting at the table. He sits straight in his chair. When he wants something, he says, please. When he, want, when he gets it, he says, thank you. <coughs> Sometimes the polite elephant's friends come to his house. He greets them at the door. Hello, he says. Please come in. He introduces them to his mother. Mommy, this is Jimmy. The polite elephant is a good playmate. He shares his toys with his friends, and he is very careful when he plays with someone else's toys. When his friends leave, the polite elephant goes to the door with them. Thank you for coming, he says. The polite elephant always tries to help others in every way he can. If you should ever meet the polite elephant, he'll be just as polite to you. He'll tip his hat and say, how do you do? As you can see, Richard Scary has very family-based and friendly, loving, caring books. Uh, he's no longer with us, but he has several different books that many people love, so...